Now, before we get on to a video about composition, I thought I should probably quickly mention association because it, it links very well to the example I've just done. Um, however, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, although I've definitely used this in some of the previous videos, and it's a term that I want everybody to be familiar with. So what I showed you in the last video, which was aggregation, was creating this relationship between two objects by passing one as an argument into another. Now, we could have accomplished this same task in a much simpler way, but it wouldn't have withheld the relationship. So let's take, for example, if we go back, we get rid of this reference to Klopp, and we remove Klopp, uh, sorry, remove boss from here. So this employee now doesn't have a boss that's stored, but we still wanted to calculate the pay difference. Well, we could have done that with a simple argument value. So we could have had, when I call this method, I pass it a number, and that number's used in this pay difference method. And then to do it, I would have needed to do um, Nunez dot pay difference. And then I pass it a number. Now, I'll print this out so we can see the output. Now, if I want to use a number from another object, I can. So I could use here uh, clock.pay. And when I run it, the output is exactly the same. However, the difference here is this is known as association because I'm passing attributes between objects. So I'm using the attribute of one object in the method of another. And that's something you might find you commonly do. I know I do this quite a lot. Um, and I've just not mentioned the term to you before, but that's known as association. 